and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you different ways to use bentonite clay to detox. This clay is considered to be a good detoxifier. It is a very unique clay due to its ability to produce an electrical charge when hydrated. Bentonite clay carries a strong negative charge which bonds to the positive charge and many toxins. So when it comes in contact with a toxin, chemical, or heavy metal, the clay will absorb the toxin and release its minerals for the body to use. Bentonite also helps get oxygen to cells as it pulls excess hydrogen and allows the cells to replace it with oxygen instead. So let me show you different ways on how I use it. So first, armpit detox. Conventional deodorants and antiperspirants contain a variety of chemicals and additives. And the chemical list in some deodorants can be harmful to you in the end. To detox your armpit, you'll need 1 tablespoon bentonite clay, 1 tablespoon apple cider vinegar, unfiltered works best, and 1 to 2 tablespoon water. Mix all ingredients in a glass bowl with a non-metal utensil. The thickness should be similar to that of a yogurt. Spread the mixture in an even layer under each armpit. Leave the mixture on for a few minutes for the first few times. Then, slowly increase the time to no longer than 20 minutes. Then, wash the mixture off the armpits with warm water. Repeat this detox daily until there is no odor in the armpits or until natural deodorants no longer irritate the skin. The second way is body detox. The skin is our largest organ, and through the sweat glands, the skin can also serve as part of the excretory system. Now, sweating only accounts for about 1% of the detoxification, but this 1% shouldn't be taken for granted. So I recommend taking a clay bath once a week to get the benefits. To do this, you'll need a 3 4 cup bentonite clay, a few drops of 100% pure essential oil of your choice, I use lavender for this, and warm water. You can actually use a quarter of a cup of the clay mix and mix it with water and apply it to your skin like lotion. And then once you've applied it all over, you have to let it stay on for 5-10 to 10 minutes. Then you can hop into your tub and you can also add 1 cup of Epsom salt to your bath. When Epsom salt is dissolved in water, it releases magnesium and sulfate ions. And this can ease problems such as muscle soreness and stress. Now you can relax in your bath for 12 to 20 minutes. Okay, the next one will be hair mask. Conditioners and other hair products can have buildup on the hair and scalp. So this bentonite clay mask helps cleanse and lift impurities from the hair, aiding in conditioning, shine, and hair softness. For this, you'll need half a cup of bentonite clay, 1 tablespoon of coconut oil, 6 tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and 3 tablespoon of water. Coconut oil has high saturated fat content. It is rich in vitamins and nutrients beneficial to the hair. Due to its low molecular weight, coconut is one of the few oils proven to actually penetrate the hair shaft. It protects and coats the hair and prevents protein loss. To make the hair mask, add the clay first and then the coconut oil in your mixing bowl. Next, add your 6 tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Allow it to aerate and foam for 10 to 15 seconds before adding in the water. The reaction between the clay and the apple cider vinegar is essential to avoiding a lumpy mix. After the mixture has foamed for a few seconds, add your 3 tablespoon of water. Apply the mask to clean, damp, or wet hair from root to end. If your hair begins to dry while applying the mask, keep a spray bottle nearby to spritz and keep the hair damp, but not dripping wet. After you've completely coated your hair with the mask, cover it with a plastic cap and leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes. After your mask, when you're ready to rinse, I highly recommend hopping in the shower. 
it will be incredibly difficult to get the clay out under the power of a sink or faucet alone. So I usually do this along with the bath soap. Once the clay is 80 to 90% rinse out, follow up with a conditioner of your choice. It doesn't have to be a deep conditioner. And just rake it through your hair from ends to root and let it stand for 5 minutes, then rinse. Your end result will be hydrated, ultra moisturized, soft, and frizz free hair. The next way is foot soap. Our feet often hold more stress than we realize, and relaxing our feet is a great way to help relax the whole body. To do this, you'll need 2 tablespoons of bentonite clay, 1 tablespoon apple cider vinegar, 1 half cup Epsom salt, a few drops of essential oils, and enough hot water to fill your container. To get the most benefits from the clay and the Epsom salts, I begin by mixing half a cup of Epsom salt into the water for foot soap. I use a tub like this one, but even like a $3 dish pan or a bucket will work just fine. Then I mix 2 tablespoons of bentonite clay with 1 tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in a bowl. And then I coat my feet in this mixture and let it dry for 10 minutes. By this time, the water has cooled enough to put my feet in and the bentonite has dried. I added a few drops of essential oil to the water. My essential oil of choice for this is peppermint. Peppermint has a cooling sensation that can actually have a calming effect on the body. And it can also relieve tension in sore muscles. When I put my feet in the tub, the hardened clay dissolves slowly and the benefits of the Epsom salts take effect. I continue to soak for about 15 minutes before gently scrubbing my feet with a brush. I rinse my feet and then pat them dry. Typically, I do this before bed since it's really relaxing, but it could be done anytime. And the last way and the most popular way to use this clay is by using it as a face mask. Bentonite clay helps remove sebum or oil from the skin surface and it can also have a calming effect on inflamed breakouts. Using a clay face mask can help improve impurities from the skin to treat acne or reduce the risk of pimples and skin infections. I already have a detailed video on this and I will put the link on that video in the description bar below. So these are the 5 ways you can use this amazing clay. I hope you find this very useful. And remember, self-care is important to maintain a healthy relationship with yourself. And self-care is giving the world the best of you instead of what is left of you. Thanks again dolls for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell as I'll be uploading more DIY self-care videos. Keep safe everyone! Bye! <laughs>